grabs some besties. I think it's no secret that I'm kind of a doll enthusiast. For those of you who don't know, this is Mini Toya, who represents me in the miniverse. And I'm kind of crazy about dolls too. So today, I thought we could customize a few of Mini Toya's micro dolls. But first, we might need to make Mini Toya her own doll room to display her dolls. I'm going to make a hidden doll room using one piece of foam board. Well, hopefully it's one piece. This one measures 20 by 28. Measure up 13 inches. Cut the foam board, dividing it into two pieces. One that is 13 by 28 and the other should be 28 by around seven. I measure over 11 inches from the sides score a line, being careful not to cut all the way through so it can bend and snap. Then repeat on the other side to make a trifold. Lay it down and measure over nine and a half inches on each side. And I'm gonna lightly draw a line. Score on the line so the wall can bend again. Repeat on the other side to create a recess. I take the leftover foam board, measure the center of the recess. For me, it's a little past six inches. From the leftover foam board, I cut a rectangle that's about six inches by 11. I cut another one that was about six inches by two and around three quarters, and one that's a quarter inch. I cover the large rectangle with scrapbook paper. This is going to be the floor of my scene, which I'm kind of pretending is a fancy pink rug. But before we glue anything in place, let's lay down the walls and use a ruler to draw a line where we want a small desk to go. I printed out my froggy stuff and I'm gonna glue it right above the line drawn. I cut one and a half inch strips from the leftover foam board. Begin gluing them onto the side wall. Let's go ahead and glue the desk in the middle, making sure it's a little lower to clear the shelves on the sides. Glue that small piece of foam under the table for support to make an easy wall with shelving. I have a little leftover foam board. I cut a piece for a tabletop then two pieces for sides, a support beam, and two feet. Let's take the two pieces we're gonna use for the sides and glue the support beam in between to kind of make the letter H. Glue on the two bottom pieces, allowing it to stand. Glue on the top, and since we have a little extra foam board, let's add one more support beam at the bottom to make a standing desk. Now let's glue the floor into the room, glue it down on the sides to complete this hidden doll room that can fold up for easy storage. Now let's decorate. I'm using some of our printable school supplies like the little cutting mat and the laptop tablet with our little tablet pencil on the table. Let's add the notepad, X-Acto knife, and a pencil for a little table clutter. Let's add the chair from our Vanity Versus video to finish the desk area. Now we can start adding the micro Barbies to the shelves. I use a little blue tack on the bottom to help hold them in place. And I'm trying to keep the different themes together I have my career dolls over here, Dreamtopia over here. Now I just have to figure out where to put the new sports themed dolls. There's a new soccer player, which looks pretty similar to the one from the first collection. They're just painted differently, but now we can have teams. There's a pink baseball player to go up against first season, a new tennis player. This one does look different from all of the others. The doll is holding a racket and has on a little tennis outfit and it is painted all the way around. There's a basketball player holding a basketball and this one also looks new and a gymnast. Not a bad paint job for something so tiny. I guess we can add them to the career side. Ah, uh, 
I just went ahead and mixed them all up. I laid down a wood grain poster board on the floor. All we need now is like a camera, cause this is totally like Mini Toya's YouTube studio, slash doll room and craft area. I used a little putty to hold the standing desk in place and still give me the option to move it if I need to. But now it's pretty sturdy, so we can lean Mini Toya against it and she's ready to film her doll videos. Uh, don't you think I need a camera? Right. I'm going to use the camera from the large Barbie color reveal playset. We talk about it in detail in our What's on the Shelf video. I like the gold tripod, however it does come with a pink camera. I would love for this to be black and I cannot find my black one. So I'm just going to replace it with the large camera from the Barbie reporter. All right, now let's paint some dolls. Let's take the ballerina. You know what? I'm gonna cover this tabletop with tape just to protect it. Okay, now we can paint it. I'm using acrylic paint to paint her stockings white. The paint is holding pretty well. It's just gonna take a minute to be careful and paint this teeny tiny Barbie. I just applied a thin coat and I'm gonna allow it to dry. You know what? Let's just paint the whole outfit white and give us a blank canvas to work with. While waiting for the base coat to dry, I paint her hair and tiara brown. Apply a thin coat and allow it to dry. Let's apply a second coat. I'm adding gold details to the top. Let's add some decorations onto the tutu that kind of look like flower petals. Paint the tiara gold. I add a pearlescent to the ballet shoes. Then we can add a little glitter paint around the edge of the petals and for a little detail. Completing our custom ballerina. Here you can see the before and after. With just a little paint, we were able to transform our mini doll. Wow, so now our dolls have custom dolls. And we have a new doll that we can add to our shelves. Let's try making miniature holiday Barbies. Let's paint her dress red. Let's add some white details and we can add a little right here to the front of the dress. I painted a pretty thick line and it's a lot easier to do when you're not looking through a camera, but we did go all the way around. Let's paint the tiara gray. Once it dries, let's add a little silver glitter glue. I added some to the front of her dress and up to the shoulders to kind of look like a necklace. Then I'm gonna add a white snow glitter glue. And what I do is just mix glitter into my glue so I can get a really thick glue glitter mixture. And then I can apply it to the doll. And it makes things a little neater and you don't have glitter all over your studio or work table. There is so much glitter in this glue that it's making it puffy, which is awesome. Hopefully it'll stay that way when it dries. Let's add a black belt. And this is way easier to do when I am not in front of the camera. And I added a little buckle at the waist to make a mini Barbie inspired by the 2007 Holiday Barbie. Let's take another one and paint her hair brown Let's paint the whole dress white this time. After a few coats and drying time, we have a nice little canvas to work with. We're gonna do more of that little snow glitter. So we take extra fine snow glitter and Mod Podge, and we're gonna just mix these two together. Making a paste. You wanna make sure you get all the glitter so we don't make a mess and we can stay cleaner. If it's too thick, just add a little more glue and mix. Yeah, that's the consistency we want. 
I'm going to add it onto the skirt right here on the sides. And we're just sculpting with it, allowing us to add to the skirt. Let's add a little bit onto her shoulders. If I can get it to stick, it's starting to dry on me. There we go. If you've got the patience, you can really add some fun details here. Oh wow, that looks pretty cool. I know there's a lot of white, but can you see that? It's probably gonna take like a billion years for that to dry. So while we're waiting, let's start on this one. Let's paint her dress red. Let me just say, I am really enjoying this. I forgot how much I love painting tiny little things. This is great practice for working on my tiny painting skills. And it reminds me of when I was a little kid and my mom and I would paint Christmas ornaments every year. That was so much fun, so many good memories. And this is totally bringing all that back. I think we might need another coat, but I'm already loving where this is going. While waiting for her to dry, let's go back to our white dress. Let's paint the skirt with an acrylic pearlicent. We're just gonna apply a thin coat onto the lower part of the dress. You know what? Let's just go ahead and cover some of the top as well. Then let's add another coat and I'm laying it on pretty thick this time. Then let's add a little gray to the tiara as a base coat. You're gonna want some tiny brushes for this project. I found these at Michael's in the model car section. Let's mix a little silver glitter glue. We don't need too much silver because we don't want it to be super thick. Add the mixture to the front of the dress. I'm adding it just right here in the middle. It's kind of like an upside down triangle shape and add a little to the tiara. To make a miniature doll inspired by the 2021 Holiday Barbie. Yeah, I took a few artistic liberties, but I think she's a great addition to our Holiday Barbie lineup. Back to this one, I'm using a little white paint to paint some stripes going down the center. A lot easier to do when you're not in front of a camera. I planned out my lines first, then I go back and start cleaning them up, making thick and thin white lines. Once dried, go back with a little red and clean up the lines. And I add a thin red line down the center of the thick white stripes. For me, there's a lot of going back and forth trying to get these lines even. That's probably as good as they're gonna get today. Let's mix a little glue and red glitter. And I want this to be nice and thick. Glitter is very messy. It's actually one of my least favorite things to work with, but I find that mixing it with the glue really helps. Add the mixture onto the skirt just in the solid red areas, building it up on the side of that candy cane stripe. Cause I want it to look like there's an outer skirt and then a candy cane dress underneath. Then paint the tiara gray. Once dried, add a little silver glitter glue. To make a mini doll inspired by the 2019 Holiday Barbie. Okay, so I'm loving these custom mini dolls. It's an easy way to add variety to our dolls. And honestly, this was like so much fun for me. And you know what? I bet they could even be used to make Christmas ornaments. I'm gonna leave Mini Toya in here to have fun with her new dolls in her studio in a hidden doll room. Thank you for joining us while we made a film space and doll display area for our mini Toya and repainted a few miniature Barbies to look like holiday Barbies like 
comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! Happy collecting and happy holidays.